Welcome back everyone, this is Adam with Nostalgic Adam, and today I have an unboxing and review of the new Micro Machines Supercar Silver Chase set. It is July 28th, 2020. I went to my local Target today, and as they were doing their awesome little toy reset, which they seem to do every quarter or so, I saw these bad boys on the pegs around the Hot Wheels section, and I picked this up. There are also two other sets that come in this box of eight packages or eight uh, car sets like this. There is the Fire and Rescue and the City and this supercar set which we have right here. However, in each box from what I understand so far, you have a chance to either find a silver chase piece like this or a gold chase piece like this. Uh, the chase piece is the Paso Fino, which uh, these cars are all not licensed cars by, you know, GM, Ford, Chevy, things like that. These are all uh, original cars from Micro Machines. And that is our silver chase for this set. So we are going to open this up. We're going to get into this. The price was $9.99. Now, if you remember my other video that I did, we have this package right here okay and it comes with three cars i picked this up from walmart this was four dollars and 97 cents this one came out to be 9.99 biggest difference between these obviously is you have two extra cars here and you have what seems to be this uh micro scene micro city scene included and if you can see that back there it looks like a like a plastic pop-up display so i'm assuming you can display these these cars in front of this little pop-up micro machine which looks like a uh, like a dealership type of thing back there so i'm super excited about that we're gonna open this up get into this and here we go okay before we open this baby up i do want to look at the back right here this shows us some play sets that are coming out soon we have the fire and rescue we have construction, which is awesome because I already have the construction cars and the fire and rescue. And then we have car wash, also tuner garage. So I have not seen any of those out on this on the shelves yet. However, I have seen the like little toy hauler looking ones out in more of the East Coast. I have seen the uh, Super Van City on the East Coast as well as Target.com and then the new parking garage as well as Target.com. So let's open this sucker up. Now, I know I'm going to get a lot of flack uh, from opening up a chase piece, but I'm not a reseller. I don't really care about that. I am a collector. I like to display my stuff. And if I happen to find another one, then, you know, maybe I'll display that one. Oh, man. Okay, out of the package. Okay, so this is like a little display. This is a, uh, yeah, it's kind of like, that's awesome. It's like a um, little uh, showroom in the back, like a dealership. That's super cool. And you can just display all your cars right there. And they have these little hooks here, which I saw in the back of the packaging. They have hooks here so you can connect it to other play sets is what it says. So I could attach this to probably a bunch of different other areas here. And hopefully they come out with some roads or like some streets. That would be pretty cool because you can just pop up all the cars right here. Okay, out of the package. Wow, look at these babies. So this is the supercar line with the Paso Fino chase piece. We have the Quetzal, the Center, a Cane Brake, and a Luce, Luce, Lusitano. Cool. So these are going to resemble like actual supercars that are actually licensed vehicles. So this kind of looks like a Bugatti. This kind of looks like a Lambo, I would say. Uh, this kind of looks like a Porsche. And then this guy kind of looks like maybe a Porsche 2 or Ferrari, either or give and take. And uh, Paso Fino definitely has some, some Lambo vibes to that. Super cool. All right, we're going to open this sucker up. Hopefully it's not as, as uh, hard to get out like the other ones were, but... Let's give it a whack. Before I destroy this packaging, let's look at these taillights real quick. Super cool attention to detail. Definitely have those supercar vibes to them. Yeah, I'd definitely say this is kind of like a Lambo. Maybe this one is kind of like a Ferrari or so. Yeah. All right. Let's crack into this thing. And yep, these are all those little twist ties. I brought my uh, scissors this time. Hopefully this will make it a little bit easier. If not, I'm just gonna edit me opening them and get right to displaying each and every one of them. Oh, that's easy. 
Yeah, this is gonna be a lot easier this way. Hopefully I can keep them all in their right order. Okay, they're not out just yet. There we go. I love this line. I love these cars. I'm super excited to see what's coming out next with all of these. All right, let's do this thing. Let's open these up. I'm going to display each one individually for you. Okay, they've all been removed. First one is going to be the Lusitano. So this is a red sports car. I definitely say this has like some Ferrari Porsche vibes to it. Super cool, but it's own unique way. Now you can tell in the in the sculpts that uh, they paid a lot of attention to detail. We have four exhausts coming back right there. We have the the lines in between the, the tail lights right there. Awesome spokes within the rims. You can kind of see the side skirts right there. Also, zoom in a little bit, little hood, hood scoop up there. And we have the slanted headlights. So that actually reminds me a little bit of, a, of an Audi. So that's that's pretty cool, pretty nice. I think they actually did a great job making this look like an actual supercar. Okay, next car up is the cane brake. This is the one you actually see on the front of the packaging. That's definitely got some Lambo vibes to me right there. So initially it has the yellow paint job right there. Two tire marks look, looks like going from uh, the hood to the roof all the way to the trunk. Uh, nice red spoked rims. Again, a nice little mold and, and, and uh, sculpts in it. We have four tail lights and four exhausts coming from the back. Awesome. I like how there's a little split window back there. It kind of takes back takes me back to like a little 1963 Corvette split window uh, vibes. Uh, we have awesome little side skirt coming up and we have some definition and some sculpt coming down the sides. Front of the vehicle, slanted headlights as well. And uh, you can see a little bit better the, the, the decal of the, the tire streaks going all the way down. And then the other side, we have the same features there. Super cool. I like there's, that there's different colors for each supercar that's in there. Next vehicle up is the center. This is the orange one. Starting off, we have a single tail light. We have three exhaust tips and also a split window coming from the back. Silver spokes or silver rims. Uh, and this one resembles a Bugatti to me. Uh, one of the resemblances is going to be that little hood, that side skirt scoop right there. Also this front end. You can also see two hood scoops in that mold and in that sculpt up there, as long as, as well as uh, silver headlights. Going on from the other side, you can see that little side skirt and that little scoop coming through, and then those silver rims. Super cool car, and I like, again, that there's variety in different colors. They're not, they're not all the same color. Next vehicle up is the Quetzal. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. It is a blue and purple color scheme. Super cool. It's like a um, it's like a faded faded purple with a little bit of more blue in there. So that's pretty cool. It's pretty unique. We have silver spoked rims, awesome curvature, and its own unique sculpt as far as the side skirt goes, and that's uh, side uh, scoop. Front end we have silver headlights that extend over to the the wheel well. Again, you can see the silver spokes on this side and that awesome sculpt and mold from the side skirts and that side scoop. Moving towards the rear of the vehicle, we have four taillight bulbs and we have two exhausts and those awesome little fins in the bottom. That's, that's super cool. Let me pick this up so y'all can kind of see that. That's cool. Awesome. And then moving on to the other side, you can see that side skirt and that side scoop. This one does remind me a little bit like a Porsche. Super cool, super sporty. I like this one a lot, and I love the color scheme on this one. Last but certainly not least is the Silver Chase Passofino. This one definitely gives me some Lambo vibes. I love this vehicle. It's its own unique sculpt and molds. You can see the side skirt action. There's a little uh, concave side skirt mold and sculpt and kind of a little bit of a, of a hood coming through. The tail end is awesome. That's what really sells it for me is it's got one long tail light back there and four exhausts. That tail light looks like two venom fangs, two, two big spider fangs coming out. That's super cool. It's unique and it's not something that we've seen already in this Micro Machine line. We have silver spokes. You can get a, a good look at these fins coming from the back of this uh, of, of the rear end right there. We have black windows and awesome. You can see the sculpt and the lines coming up 
on this, and there's a little bit of a, of a hood scoop coming through. Very attractive looking car. Uh, I'm very happy to have found this and, and pulled this one. So uh, if you're out there, look for this. This is a, a fun one to have. Uh, again, they're hitting targets right now. Uh, the price is $9.99, and there is a, a case. In e every case, there's eight little packages, eight cars, or eight sets, and you have a chance to find either this silver one or the gold one. So let me know if y'all find them out there. I'd like to see some pictures. I'd like to see and hear what you guys find. All right, we're gonna do one big lineup and on top of this little display, and we're gonna wrap up. Before we wrap up, I wanted to go over the little map or legend that's inside of this package. We have single packs coming up soon. I haven't seen anything released or heard about those just yet. But in the single packs, it looks like you have a chance or an opportunity to find the gold or silver bezel car right here. Haven't heard anything about those, but I'm sure it's only a matter of time. Micro Machines officially releases and launches in August, so it's only a few days away. Up top hand corner, we have starter packs, which is the GT7 race. You can find the gold and silver version of those. I found those at Walmart for $4.97. It is this car right here. So be on the lookout for that. I never saw the silver or gold in that chase piece, but I know people on Reddit and uh, Instagram that have actually found that. So uh, be on the lookout for that. We also have the farm set, construction set. This also shows you the gold and silver uh, Pasofino, which uh, we have the silver one right there. And in the back we have World, World Packs, which is uh, the set that we have here. The first one is the Supers. We have the Fire and Safety. We also have the, the City. And then we have Play Sets, Play Set Cars, uh, or Play Set Exclusive Cars. Uh, so on the back of the package it showed uh, all the different ones. So each one will come with its own special exclusive car that you can only get there. Okay. Uh, over here, we have a hauler set, the park and go, which is the, like a parking garage where you can store your cars. And then the super van city set, which I have not seen yet. So be on the lookout for these. They are hitting the stores now. All right, everyone, here are all five cars on the display piece that came in the supercar set. Now, each set comes with its own specific backdrop. So fire and rescue comes with its uh, unique one. And then the city comes with a special one as well. So be on the lookout for those. Other than that, this wraps up this video. Um, these are $9.99. You can find them at Target right now. And let me know what you think. Is this something you're going to be picking up? Um, does the chase entice you? What do you think of the chases? Um, I think they're super cool, and I think it's it's an awesome way to, to try to uh, excite people to try to find these, these sets. I'll definitely be on the lookout for the gold piece. But let me know down below. Um, and if you're not already following me, check out my Instagram. It's all one word, Nostalgic Adam. I do a lot of toy photography, toy hunts, toy videos, toy reviews on there. And so give it a like and, and follow me and, and let me know what you guys think. If you find these in the store, send me some pictures. I'd love to see what you guys find. All right, I'll see you all in the next video.